Hello and welcome to this video about uh, not as much this Moran CD65 that has been lampisated, but about my new toy, which is a thermal imaging camera. I spent 250 Australian dollars on it. They used to cost thousands. And it came useful on this very first job. As you see, it shows you where the hot things are and where the cold ones are. And um, and that's about it. I'm not going to show you too much um, because I don't want it to overheat. So I'm going to turn off the player. This has been uh, lampisated by a friend of mine here that's very good in tubes. And he built this thing. And uh, But my first outage with the camera, I've learned a few things. Big ICs are about 50 degrees. Regulators run at about 60 degrees. A tube, even though it's a microtube, which is cool, runs at 120. He nicely bent it over there, so it's as far away from all the components as possible. But what happens here is that he didn't have a 22 ohm resistor, he put two tens, which is fine, you know, this is only this is the heater uh, current that goes through them. But they get very hot and they get to about 100 degrees, at least in this situation. But um, if I turn off that thing altogether, uh, but you know, normally they were sitting like that. So they were sitting right next to that 85 degree capacitor. So that already, using the camera, I picked up a first her thing to be rectified, so I'm going to have a 22 ohm resistor installed there and it will be just a piece of wire going um, to the other terminal, so it will be, you know, like a um, couple of centimeters away from capacitor, it should be alright. So uh, I really bought it for, for troubleshooting, sometimes, you know, you can hear that something is going to fry, so uh, but you can't see anything until the smoke comes out. So well, this is where my thermal, uh, thermal camera will come in and I can just see straight away where the problem is and, and look uh, around that uh, area. I once did, I was doing a recapping on the French audio aero CD player and it was, you know, four o'clock in the morning and I put one of the capacitors wrong way around and that fried the resistor. And, um, well, I didn't know which one. After it got fried, it was obvious which one, <laughs> I didn't know the value because I had no diagram and it was scorched. So this is to prevent that ever happening again. It appears to work fine. You can take pictures with that camera, take videos and, you know, has a time and um, time stamp on it. So if you do other things, you know, like fixing air conditioning units or engine or whatever, it just tell you, tells you where the problem is. Well, that's all for today, and till the next one. Bye-bye.